up creative community, it's Creator 2 and today I'm going to be reacting to Crystal Sins episode 1. Now, um, I've actually, um, I saw this in my subscriptions, um, actually today, and I just got home from a volleyball tournament, and I flipped out, and I thought, you know, what would be nothing better but to get a reaction video for this? For most of you, or for some of you who don't know, Crystal Sins was a Bright Horse movie back in 2010, around 2011, and that was when, you know, Blaze and I had actually really started making a Bright Horse movies. And so, uh, we were obsessed with Crystal Sins. It was like our all-time favorite movie. It was and still is my all-time favorite movie. And I saw this pull up in my subscriptions box and I literally screamed so hard. I was so excited and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this on frack like and videotape. And so, I am really excited. So yeah, let's get started. All that I've been through, everything I've faced, all the lies I've been told and said, and this, this is how it's all going to end. Wasn't that like the trailer or something? I failed everyone. I've let everyone down. And it's purely my fault. If only I wouldn't have been such a selfish jerk, then maybe, hmm. maybe, I could have set things right. Is this where we're starting or something? And maybe, so many horses wouldn't have died because of me. Getting a little monologue here, I like it. Please be thought provoking. <laughs> but now, it's too late. We've done all we can. We've used up all our strength and energy, all our resources, all our drive and determination. It's all gone now. We have nothing left. Nothing but blood on our hooves and broken spirits. Uh-oh. It seems that our only option now is to give up. No, Ash, don't give up. All the others already have. I'm the only horse who still thinks there might be another chance. But without my friends, my family at my side, it won't make a difference. I can't face this alone. And my hope seems to be fading with every moment. Oh. <laughs> Those are some big tears dropping. <laughs> that we can find hope in everything all around us. But even he doesn't believe in that anymore. That's a no cool horse thing. does. But what I think Balthazar didn't realize is that it's not everything around us that gives us hope. It's not just any horse that can give you hope either. It's the odd little things that you find hope in. Okay. The strangest little details that bring about the strangest memories. You don't always find hope Who in the horse you? you most expect it from, but the one you don't. It's those small things and these unlikely horses that renew your hope. Okay. And when your hope is restored, your strength, your energy, your drive, and your determination to go on again will follow. Everything that was keeping you down, your mistakes, your doubt, your sins, they will all fade away, leaving you fresh again to realize that giving up is an option you'll refuse. <gasps> yes, 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 I, yes, 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 we getting drawings. We are getting, oh my good God, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw these pictures on Facebook and I didn't know what they were gonna be used for and now I do and I'm so frack lag and happy. Our story Back this. begins okay. with two brothers. Both were born to okay. become the right, brothers. Of horses. Okay, so One this night, is different. Damani snuck out onto our lands while his brother slept and he woke one of the horses that had a deep black coat just like him. The horse's name was Damon, and he was a well-respected horse amongst the herds. 
Damon was surprised to see the god standing before him, and he was afraid that he had come to take his life. Damani assured him, though, that he had not come to take him, and instead offered him immortality if he would allow him a favor. Damon did not I know, know what this <laughs> favor was, but he felt like it was a good payoff, and he didn't want to disappoint one of his gods, after all. After I don't Damon want to disappoint the god of death. <laughs> Damani possessed the unsuspecting Ooh, horse, taking over his mind and body. And oh. putting it into his own control. <laughs> what's that like? Um, what's your face in Conquering Town? Ha 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 ha. Cool, I get it. Among the herd of horses was a light gray horse who Alito had recently what? spoken to Keep that and mind. warned him that he feared his brother might be up to something. This horse called upon Alito to see what was happening. Alito came immediately and stood in front of the herd. Dimani was surprised by his brother's appearance. And he came like out of Damon's music. body to okay. face him. Alito was furious with what Damani had done and urged him to listen to him. That's literally Celestia. He tried to convince him that he was as respected as he. But Damani would not listen and was far too gone in his own selfish desires. Okay. I have Luna. Okay. He lunged at Alito. Whoa. Wanting to rather have his own brother dead than give up what he wanted. <laughs> Luna! <laughs> Alito had no choice but to defend himself, and the two brothers began to engage in a long, Ooh. bloody battle. That's it hurts. Alright, I've heard this so far. A little like Battle of Pony, but it'll get better anyway. Alrighty, Alito then you go. decided to offer him something he had never done before. He immortality. The white horse immortality and become his warrior against evil. Ooh. A guardian to the other horses and a protector of the balance. That's new. Although, Alito warned him, immortality is not as good as it may seem at first, and there would be many responsibilities for him. The white horse still accepted Alito's gift. Over generations, Alito promoted several more white stallions hmm. and mares to the honor of becoming oh. guardian horses. Protectors That's of cool. Balance. It is rumored that while he is banished underground, Damani is obtaining his own secret following. Before the horse Damon was possessed by Damani, he was an innocent and kind horse. But that had now begun to change. Damon no longer felt the same sense. When Damani had possessed Damon, he had left an evil part of himself left behind inside Damon. Okay. As Damon felt the deep evil inside of him, and it began to grow, it began to he grow. developed a strong loyalty to Damani. Damon went out and gathered other <laughs> horses to follow him in his quest to one day <laughs> yes. have the god Damani return, even if it would take him generations to okay. accomplish. The horses that Damon Damn. gathered were oftentimes horses with black coats like he and Damani had. <gasps> Not racist. Hey, I feel you. Maniacals. <laughs> Over time, these horses were called dark horses. Oh, okay, you kept the name. Cool, cool. So, Guardians of the Balance and Dark Horses or something? The horses were now silently music, divided into three groups. The Dark Horses that were secretly attempting to bring Damani okay. out from his prison beneath the planet. The Balance Protectors, trying to keep the peace throughout the land. Balance Protectors. And the normal horses, I don't really unaware horses. of the constant kind of gods struggle around, between the like Balance immortal. of life. Oh, come on, that's the end of it? Oh, yes, that's adorable. Ah, yes, yes. Is that Xavier? Xavier was my favorite. I'm afraid that's all for tonight, young one. You fools need to be off to bed. It's getting late. Ugh, but I don't want oh, to go to bed. Customs. I want to stay up and listen to more stories. Uh, Me too. I want to hear more. Oh, come I like on, Dad, can we please stay up just a little bit longer? No, it's time for you to go to bed, son. Oh, could I at least son. ask a few questions about the story? Um, Annabelle is adorable. Shannon. Who? Shannon? Not at all, Annabelle. Leonardo? Oh, that's Leonardo. Uh, okay. We have oh, time you got for a model change. Question, and only one. Thank you, sir. Shaman. Shaman. Well, if Damani is a god, and Alito's brother, and he's so powerful, 
How come he can't break out of his prison? Well, Alito used a very powerful magical binding spell that keeps Damani trapped. It is known to be the most unbreakable spell ever created. Ugh, are you freaking kidding me? Yes, it's yes. It's just a stupid <gasps> story. Come on, Xavier, magic. I love That's you. Ridiculous. Stop filling these annoying foals with these <laughs> silly horse tales. Xavier, horses have been telling the same story for generations. Yes! Yeah, from his great sire to his grandsire and so on and so forth. So forth. But these tales sound so far-fetched. I just you. use them to teach foals to be good. Huh. And all this magic stuff. Good grief. And really, dark horses and balance protectors or guardian angels or whatever they're called <laughs> I love are here them. on Earth? I don't know about you, but I've never seen or heard of one before. Maybe they were here one day, but I think they're long gone now. Maybe they are. These stories are a part they of our history, single. and these young ones should hear it. And well, yes, Xavier, most of us haven't ever seen a dark horse or a protector before, but it doesn't mean they aren't mm. real. In fact, from what I've heard, there are some protectors and dark horses that have actually learned to disguise themselves to look like ordinary horses. Well, that's gonna stink. <sighs> so if they really could disguise themselves, then I guess that could mean that you, Ash, could really be a Goody Two Hopes protector. Oh, wait, you couldn't be. You're way too annoying to be a protector. You must be a dark horse then. Ash is gonna be a dark horse. <laughs> Ash is gonna be a dark oh, horse. Up, That's where not all true. Everything Actually, gets the screwed only protector up. that I can see being here would be little protector. Annabelle. Alright, Annabelle's protector. <laughs> I got this down. She's so sweet. Huh, very funny. Ash is gonna be a dark horse, man. I mean, his coat's right, black. They're gonna enough. let be attracted Off to him. To bed, all of you. I feel but it. I have more questions. <laughs> yeah, no, no, quit being get stupid, get man. To bed. <laughs> questions. No more questions. Bed now. Jewel, please escort them back to the herd. Yes, my love. <laughs> yes, my love. Come on now, foals. <gasps> Music. Oh yeah, I got this down, man. Ash is gonna be a dark horse. Ash is gonna be a dark horse, man. It's gonna happen. He killed the other foal in, like, the past series. He's gonna be a dark horse. I feel it. Okay. There is nighttime. Please don't be a scene where I can't even see the horse's faces. Please don't be the... Please... No. No. Okay, I hate when people do that. It's like, film in complete darkness and you can't see the horses and you're like... They're good foals. They will grow up to be good horses. I'm worried about Ash, though. Bruh! He's just so angry. <gasps> Aaron I'm still worried about him having such a dark coat. He was born almost pure black. Ooh. Don't worry, he will gray out. I know, but it still concerns me. <laughs> That's not racist, do, by the way. Dark horse in the herd. Even if he didn't gray out and his coat stayed dark, that wouldn't mean he'd be a dark horse, Leonardo. You'd know better than yeah, that. Yeah, true. Don't be racist. The color of a horse's coat does not define him and his personality. Racism right there. Yeah, but it sure would attract other dark horses mm, to that's him. That's what I said. Bruh, he's gonna become you a dark know, horse. You're not far off from being a horse with a black coat either. Mm, true. Yet you are a leader of a nice herd that would do anything to protect them. It's like not just the color of his now. coat that concerns Quality. me. Hmm. Personality. I should go now. It's getting late. And I have some important errands I need to run. <laughs> Are you sure you'll be all right by yourself in this dark? I can get one of my stallions to escort Ooh, you. Ooh, he's gonna get lost or something. No, no, I'll be fine. You always say that, but I can never seem to believe you. You worry about me too much, my friend. I'll be fine. He's gonna get hurt. I always Ooh, am. I always am. When will you be back? There are still stories the foals need to learn. Oh, Sometime more? soon, I promise. Now, farewell. Have a safe trip. What was his name again? Shushan? Shuan? I need to get these names down. All right, he's gonna get lost or something. He's gonna get possessed by Damani. Watch, Damani's gonna rise up to possess him and then get Ash on his side. I got this down. Xavier. <laughs> Xavier is my babe. I like this music, by the way. Brings back good times, good times. Hey, hey, Annabelle. Hey, Annabelle. Ash? Yeah, Ash. Do you really believe that story? <laughs> of course I do. Why? Oh, she's so cute. It's annoying me. <laughs> I, I guess I do. I'm not sure. What about you, Comanche? Do you believe in it? Huh? Uh, oh, oh, uh, yeah. 
Those dark horses don't sound very scary, though. I bet I could take one on any day. Oh my oh, god. Uh, <laughs> what were some of the other questions you were going Characterization. to ask? Characterization. Oh, I was just going to ask some things like, why do dark horses only have black coats and protectors only white coats? Racism. If were, and if there was ever a name given to that white horse that became the first protector. You know, stuff like that. Oh, well, hopefully hmm. Shaman will be back tomorrow so you can ask him. Shaman. Or maybe my or dad shaman? knows. Ugh, I gotta get this down. Your dad scares me sometimes, dude. <laughs> Why? Mark's He's just dude. my dad. He's just my dad. I know, but he just looks at me weird sometimes. I don't think he likes me. <laughs> Why would he? scared of you, Ash. You're just a big mouth fool with no discipline. What's not to like? <laughs> hey. Ugh, whatever. Ash is literally Aaron Ang- Why do you want to know Aaron so much Yeager. about that story anyway? Anger issues. Are you like planning to become a nerdy storyteller horse like Shaman? Shaman. Oh, you're hilarious, Ash. Huh. It's, it's just curiosity, I guess. I find it interesting. My mom says it's always important to be curious and learn new things. Well, my mom always says it's important to think before you neigh and have self-control. Think before you neigh. Yeah, that's because she's talking to a hothead like you. Ugh, Comanche. That's hilarious. <laughs> Aaron Yeager. <laughs> oh, she was listening this entire time. You can have all the fun you want tomorrow. Oh, wait, Xavier's now. here too. Were they like eavesdropping? Good night, Comanche. Good night, Ash. Night, Anne. Good night, Ash. Sleep tight and don't let the dark horses bite. <laughs> <laughs> I snap with this. Someone's watching them. That's like the oh, it's a dark horse. That's literally like Boulevard creeping on Yuki in like episode one. That horse seems different. I crack myself up. I snap. Okay, so he gonna be spouting Ash, and then Ash gonna come to turn into a black horse, and then Shushan or I oh can't. God, I keep this name down. Is that what it was called? Shushan. He gonna be like, I don't know. Something's gonna happen to Shushan. Um, Ash is gonna be um, a dark horse. I got this down, you guys. I like this music. No. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Oh no, it's over! Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, we react to Crystal since episode one. Um, honestly, I might, I've might i been considering doing actually a rea react series for a really long time now. And so, um, if you enjoyed this, comment below, let me know. Um, and yeah, um, great job for me, by the way. And um, yeah, just comment below, below if you'd like to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you later. Bye. Tequila. You gotta start taking the thug life more serious!